So this is the point of view Mobi WinTab 800W, the very low cost Windows 8 uh, tablet. Um, the full review is up on notebookcheck.net. But what I wanted to do in this video is do a kind of a bit of a real world um, usage scenario here. We have done all we can to benchmark this in the Windows desktop environment. And what we found is it really doesn't benchmark well. A lot of the benchmarks are actually too big for this device. For example, we've only got three gigs of disk space left on this. Some of our benchmarks are bigger than that. We've had errors, we've had problems, we've had uh, stutters, lockups, and we've run out of disk space. So what we did is we completely reset the device. Um, we haven't installed any updates from Windows. And what we're doing now is just taking a look through the metro modern environment. What we're finding is the experience is much, much better. This is a device you can use in metro, and it's a device you shouldn't use in desktop. So you've got all the, the usual apps there. Facebook is there. The, the news app is quite nice. Um, that's the Bing news app here. Hopefully that's going to fire up quickly. There we go. So let's just uh, take you through that. Obviously, a lot of nice, uh, nice content available in there. Now, the other thing we've got Facebook, we've got integrated Skype, integrated OneDrive, Calendar, and I've got my Google Mail running there. The Internet Explorer is a nice touch-enabled explorer. I've got uh, my weather app uh, running there, and that's uh, quite useful. Um, what else have we got? Let's take you through to a couple of uh, games. Wordament works uh, pretty well. It, let's just go into Wordament, and you can see... Um, ugh, But that is working stutter free. Um, a better one to show you would be probably um, this one, which is. Oh, I just crashed. Jetpack Joyride. And we'll just play that again. And the whole experience is really quite stutter free. So it's this sort of level of gaming, sort of snacking, I think you'd probably call it, is actually working pretty well. And not getting much if any stuttering on this i haven't had a problem playing this for the last uh, five minutes as, been, as i've been setting up the, the video everything works out pretty well the other thing i want to show is video playback because i've put a micro sd card in here i've got a couple of videos the first here is a 720p video straight from um straight from a camera and that is working stutter free it's about three and a half megabits uh, per second Everything works uh, nicely on that one. But this one is a 2560 by 1440. Um, yeah, it'll be a 2K video rather than a 4K video. And that is running stutter free. This is 33 megabits a second of yeah 2K video. And it's actually pretty good. So assuming you can, um, you've got some video content you can use, you can put that on a micro SD card. As a video playback device, this is quite nice. Um, we've got maps, we've got news, we've got weather, we've got all sorts of stuff in the, uh, in the um, store, and we've also got Xbox uh, Music as well. Now, do note that this is a connected standby capable device, so what you can do is actually turn off the device, and some apps, for example, this app, will carry on playing in the background. Now, I shouldn't really be playing this copyrighted music, but let's see if we do a quick, quick, quick demo here. Right. Going to hit the power button, and there we go. It's off in connected standby mode, and of course you can still hear the music playing. Come back in, and we'll see that the music's still playing. Skype does that as well. So if you think of this as a Windows RT tablet that actually has a desktop that you could use in an emergency, that you could load one or two apps into. Um, probably portable apps would be the best thing, running from an SD card. Um, you can get portable browsers that will work from an SD card, no problem. And if you try and limit uh, Windows updates to security only and keep the disk clean, this actually works pretty well. For desktop use though, forget it. Do not think that you can run any desktop app on, on this. You'll run out of disk space immediately and it'll be a very frustrating experience. So anyway, I hope that's given you maybe a bit of a better real-world overview. Kind of proves that uh, Windows uh, benchmarking is not the best thing to do sometimes. Um, this is the point of view. Moby WinTab 800W. My name's Chippy. Thanks for watching.